The Chelsea River is a really important industrial water body. We call it locally here as the Chelsea Creek. Folks often think of creeks as small, unimportant water bodies, but the Chelsea Creek is actually really important for all of the New England region. Along the banks of the Chelsea Creek are oil tanks that store 100% of the jet fuel that's used at Logan International Airport, 70 to 80% of New England's heating fuel, and road salt for over 350 communities in the New England area. It's essentially a massive mountain of road salt. Chelsea and East Boston are both significantly impacted by this industrial burden. The low-income communities and communities of color of these two neighborhoods are, are shouldering all of the burden for all of the New England region. There's about six high school students um, who've been working on environmental justice issues uh, in Chelsea for quite a while now. Hi, we are the ECO crew, and for those who don't know, ECO stands for Environmental Chelsea Organizers, and the ECO group consists of six youth from Chelsea, including myself, Jasmine to my left, Brian, Jari, Shakai, and Catherine. It's been great for Sarah and I to be able to work with Green Roots because they have been working in the community for so long. And that seemed to work really well from my perspective was you guys writing the drafts. They really understand what's happening there, they know how to get things done, they know the needs of the community. What we're going to do is we're going to collect some water from the Chelsea Creek uh, and test it in comparison to the water from the Charles River. Our next goal was to create uh, an installation that was really engaging for people, that was clear, that communicated the messages that the community would be most interested in hearing. And that's how we ended up with the chemicals in the creek installation. We were looking for the numeric violation data, and so cases where the industries have exceeded their permits. We started by lighting a year sign, so we had a sign that said 2013. We lit it up, and then we put all the lanterns representing all the violations from that year into the water. Then 20 seconds later, we lit up the 2014 sign and put in all the lanterns representing the violations from that year. The young people are remarkably positive, and when they're given information, it's really eye-opening. And they're taking this information and saying, we, we need to do something about it. And so I've seen with our Environmental Chelsea organizers, our eco-crew, how these young people have become so empowered with information that they just want to take that information and run with it and say, you know what, this isn't fair. This is my health, this is my family's health, this is our community, and we need to do something about it.